Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, we are back. We are back. Uh, it, it is a quiet, quiet week. Um, not a lot going on besides the big fight. Uh, the undercard's not great, but we're going to get into Scrappy Ramirez and David Jimenez, uh, which should be a fun fight. Um, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Book comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make money uh, betting on the sport of boxing. Please also join the Patreon. The link is in the description. The link is in the description. Uh, just five dollars a month to get you the lock of the week, and we've been hitting the lock of the week every single week. So it doesn't cost you money; it makes you money. Uh, join the Patreon, uh, get the lock of the week. Ask the bookie anything. Ask me to do a video; I'll do a video for you. I'll, I'll show you how to make money in every single fight. There's a free T-shirt involved. There's all types of fun perks, all that and more for just five dollars a month. Just five dollars a month. Uh, join the Patreon at the Boxing Bookie. Uh, also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Oh, that's good. All right. Uh, let's get into today's show. Scrappy Ramirez. Good legs, good movement. I like Scrappy, you know, to a, to a degree. Um, he leaves his chin unprotected. This is going to be a problem. At some point, it's going to be a big problem. I, I don't love that. I don't love him defensively, fundamentally. Um, he's got quick reflexes, though. He can move out of shot. He can move out of out of range well. He can make you miss. He can duck shots well. He's got a, a, a quick, sneaky jab. He's got a really educated jab, a smart jab. He scores with it a lot. He's athletic. Like I said, he moves well, good legs, uh, quick short punches on the inside, and then he can pick shots off. You can see that Scrappy got a little bit of a late start in boxing. He's got natural talents, and you can tell he works hard, but he hasn't got all the intricacies down yet. Um, he's not a huge volume guy, and he likes to counter. His, his greatest asset, I think, is, is his feet and his kind of explosiveness on that left hook. He stalks patiently with his jab. He's a fun fighter to watch. He's going to be in entertaining fights, especially because his strengths are fun and his weaknesses are, are glaring, right? But he's ultimately a pretty good fighter, and he's just stylistically, he's going to mesh, and he's going to make a lot of, lot of fun fights. He rips quick shots on the inside, right? He's real good on the inside. Um... And he can make you miss a little bit, but he also leaves himself open. So, I mean, if you're accurate from long range, you might be able to have your way with him. You can tell he's raw. He's got pretty good pop. He's got pretty quick hands. He's got a lot of things that you would want, a lot of things that you would, you could work on. You know, and, and now the question becomes, is he taking too many steps too quickly? Um, I don't think that this is a super dangerous fight. You know, you can go back, you can watch Dave Jimenez. He's been in with good fighters. He's 15 and 1. He's uh been in with Dalican and uh Yeah, that's really the only big name he's been in with. Uh Ricardo Sandoval and and Dalek uh Dalican. he's a hard fighter to kind of break down. He doesn't jab enough, right? Like everything he throws is wide. He's kind of got this herky jerky kind of approach, right? I, I don't like him, but he's unorthodox and quirky in there. And he, and he can cause people a problem. He, he rushes in. He gets a little sloppy and wild. He eats shot. He's not a huge volume guy. There's like so much I don't like about this guy, but there's something about him that just makes him a little bit difficult to deal with. It's the movement. It's the unorthodox nature of his shots. He's like jittery. 
he seems to have pretty good pop. He, uh, he does have good pop. Everything is wide, though. He's got good timing. Like, that he definitely has. He times his counter shots well. He's not a combination puncher, and he, he gets hit a lot. Like, there's just not a lot I like about him. But if you watch him, he gets in and out on you. He has good power. He lands with his power shots from a, a range of angles. He's a, he's a really hard fighter because if I'm just watching this guy, oh, he sucks. But he doesn't. And it's hard to put your finger on what he does well because it's unorthodox and it's herky-jerky and it's like it's ugly. He's like uh, – all I can say, like, if if you're a basketball fan, a good analogy, a, a, a good comp is Draymond Green. It's like, well, what does he do well? Well, it's kind of complicated, but he's pretty good. And David Jimenez is pretty good, although ultimately I don't think it's going to be good enough to get the win. Let's pull up the odds. Let me pause this right. Uh, let me pull up the odds. And I don't have it here. Hang on. All right. Give me one second so I can get all this pulled up here. Let's take a look at the odds on this. Oh, wait, you guys. I got to share my screen. All right. The odds on this aren't terrible. Scrappy Ramirez, John Ramirez, minus 200. Let's get rid of Noakes. Minus 200. Uh, I, I like the over, but we're not going to touch that. I think the bet is easy. One time is bet. John Scrappy Ramirez, uh, $50. It's going to make you a $100 bet. It's going to make you 50 bucks. So, it's, you know, he's a two-to-one favorite, basically. Uh, I, I think this is safe. I uh, you know, both these fighters have flaws, but I think Ram- Jimenez is going to fight into Ramirez's flaws. I think Ramirez is going to sit back. Uh, I think he's going to land counter shots, kind of left hook, right hand. And I think Jimenez is going to be wide open and eat a lot of shots. Late possible, late stoppage is possible. Although, if I was going to bet on the outcome, I would bet on, uh, I bet it would go to the distance. But we're not touching that. For this, we're just taking John Ramirez on the money line, minus. Uh, two hundred hundred dollar bet makes you fifty bucks. Real, real easy math on that. Uh, and that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's also in that little banner. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. We hit the lock of the week every single week, uh, guys. I-, I make money doing this every single week. There's no one out there that does this better than me. And you can just a- ask the Patreons. Like no, no one regrets joining. You know, no one really cancels, right? Like, um, we, we make money every single week, and, and that's my goal. I want you guys to make money every, every single week. And you have the best boxing gambling advisor in the whole damn world, five dollars a month. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow The Boxing Bookie, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you uh, for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house. It is April 18th, 2024, from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.